Back here to the stadium, big game, Monday, Windforce, huge one. This is their eighth time playing in the last five years. Here on the opening kickoff, everyone thought this game would be a shootout, and this looked like a pretty good indication of what it would be. D. Paul taking it, nobody's going to touch him. He's going all the way for the touchdown. 6-0 Monday, the extra point was blocked and almost returned. Uh, so it was 6-0. That was the score at the half, though. Now we'll pick it up. Second half, Joe Hager finding Tyler Berardi for the touchdown. That makes it 7-6. Trojans now with the lead. But on that ensuing kickoff, they kick it. This time they more like squib it. They keep it away from Paul. But Garrett Weaver's going to pick it up. And he's rumbling down. And they're not going to catch him. It's a touchdown. Two-point conversion was good. Makes it 14-7 Moguls. Now, D. Paul. With that 14-7 lead, he's going to take it and run to his right, right into your living room. 17 yards for the score, 21-7 Moguls. Trojans trying to fight back Joe Hager deep to Dylan. Stalk up the big man, nice catch in the back of the end zone. Got the foot in, 21-14. But after uh, the ensuing kickoff, here's Garrett Weaver, and he is, or this is Deep Hall actually, after the kickoff, Deep Hall takes it in, 53 yards, another score, and some payback here. Or actually, yeah, there he goes, slow rolling it into the end zone there. Some payback and a 35-28 win for the Moguls. They'll play Wellington in the 7-5.